Hello folks and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies, a game by David Stark. It's a game about designing and building airships in a diesel punk scenario. Um, and they're just standoff missions you can do, And but there's a, a conquest gameplay as well. We're going to go there and we'll explain as much as we can from there. A new game. Um, let's, give, let's do a random... This is, this is the coat of arms I came up with, so we'll just keep that for the time being. The coat of arms I've got, and we're going to call ourselves the Lands of Nemo. Start game. And just place all the towns. This is a randomly generated map um, where you fly around and take over the world with airships and land build and buildings and land vessels eventually. Um, okay, here you go. There we go. Well, thank you, sound. Uh, we're paused. Right, so this is airships. Conquer the skies. We have, this is the world map at the moment, randomly generated. These are the lands of Nemo, and that's Vaxenford, and that's Vault Vale, and that's Catbridge. Those are small little cities of Tix, uh, Kirkham Ferrum, and Heptopolis, etc. We have, what do we have actually got here? We've got lands of Nemo, income, 100,000. I think 100. Large shipyard and lax secret police. Uh, Ungrashzon, Okut, and Lubbud. Lands of Nemo is your home city. Cities that are yours have your flag. Each city that you conquer gives you additional weak income, but it must also be defended. This is your starting fleet. Click on it. You can see the ships in the panel on the right. You can click on individual ships to select and deselect them before you give commands. This is the torturer. This is the ship we've got. Uh, let's see what we actually have. Let's start the, let's see the, the see the refit. Well, the, the torturer. Here we go. This is the you can build ships like so. This is the torturer. Which looks to me like a... You can see here you have Suspendian Chambers, which basically is a crystal that keeps you your float. We have a large propeller. Uh, we have some water, fire points. We have coal storage. We have bunks for our sailors. We have a bridge for control. Bomb bays. Apparently this, this pre-built design comes with eight, six bomb bays, ammo stores, a couple of rifle... Um, soldiers at the front and a crow's nest at the top, which is okay. That works for me. I'll I'll, I'll do that. We'll, we'll we'll save this design as what was it called? The torturer. Yeah, we'll say that as the torturer. It's random. It was randomly made, and these are the ones that come in with the game. Um, right. So we'll just boom. We'll just save that. There you go. That's the torturer, and we will go back to the main screen. To build up your fleet, you may want to construct another airship. Click on your home city, then choose Build Ship. Select the ship within your budget, name it, and click OK. So here, Design Ship, Build Ship, Build Land Ship. Design Land Ship and Defenses. Defenses of the Lands of Nemo, we have several buildings here. Several buildings. I uh, kind of want to move them around, because this is our base, and let's move them around a little bit. So they're actually aiming at different things, and they're not all situated in the same area. There's a little, a little bit of spread outness. Okay, that's, that's just that. That's that's the land. That is, that is a capital, Lands of Nemo. Orchids, defenses, those. We'll mess around with them when we need to, I think. Otherwise, it'll stay forever. Right, let's build a new ship. Build a ship. We currently have 450, so we can build the HMS Creosote. What is the HMS Creosote? The HMS Creosote is a small suspendium chamber, um, steel supply hatch, uh, a small propeller, cockpit. Less than a bridge, a small ammo store. This is a, this is a tiny, tiny ship, but comes with two cannons. Small ammo store. Okay, we'll, we'll build you then. You're, you're teeny tiny. We're going to call you the HMS Cyanosis. And it's going to build. You got to speed. You got to start the game running. It's, this is a real time game. So okay, we have a real time game. We are building that. We are generating. Oop. Okay, we got that. Time to send out a spy. Uh. Scout for your first conquest. Send a spy to this nearby city by clicking on it and choosing Send Spy. Send Spy for 100. After a bit of time... Uh, something, something, something. The spy will say they're in the city. It's view City. They're infiltrating the city. There you go. Spy is infiltrating the city. And... There we go. Your spy is now set up and reporting from Dentata. The following information has become available. The income it produces and the size of its shipyard which determines how quickly it can build new ships. Finally, the level of its secret police, which determines how susceptible it is to bribery and sabotage. If you select, if you click on the city, and you can now choose View City, which lets you see its defenses and garrison. Using spies, you can determine what kind of fleet you need to conquer a city. Well, let's have a look at the Dentata. A View City. 
what do we have here? We have... Same thing we had before. Like, the same thing we've got. Those buildings, those riflemen at the side. I think the uh, torturer would probably be good to just sit on top of it, just drop bombs forever. That could be a good idea. Okay. Once your fleet is ready, select it. And and your cities can reach... Cities your fleet can reach to invade, and I'll have an invade button. We can reach... We can reach... Wow, we can reach everywhere. <laughs> Interesting. Um, let's invade the city, then. With the fleet, the torturer and the HMS Sinos. Let's rename you to the HMS Torture, shall we? HMS Torture, that works out. Um, okay. Uh, no, again. Invade. And press space, and you'll slowly head that... Oh god, you're going to... You're going to defend it, aren't you? Uh, view city. What's above? That is... They've got a... They've got, they've got a torturer as well. They've got a torturer as well. Um... So, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting situation, because we're going to arrive here. But boom Lands of Nemo versus Vaxenford. Click on that. Right. So, set up attack. We are... We set up on this side. They set up on this side. We have here the Torturer. We have here the uh, Sinosis. Sinosis can't go very high, unfortunately. So, Sinosis, you're going to set up down here, because they have a range there. Um, we definitely want to stay as high as possible. I mean, if you get to be above this thing, that'd be fantastic. Drop bombs above it. That would be the dream. We'll see what we can come with. Um, so, start T. Pause. Okay, so this this is the what we've got here. They're going down. Right, okay. So, uh, you can issue orders to the ships. Movement, ram orders, um, ground ship, target uh, ship... So, so you, target ship, that's your target right now. Once you've given an order, there's a time for the order to re-fill itself. Okay. Okay, you need to move, uh, M, M, M to move. Keep, keep staying high, you need to keep high. Oh, <laughs> burn. Okay, you need to move up. Uh, move, move here, move there, that way they can't drop bombs on you. Uh, flip ship, yeah. Oh, hang on, that was a... That was beautiful, however. Drop bombs! Yeah, we got that one. Okay, that's gone. We succeeded in destroying that, so we're gonna move over here. We're actually gonna move... Um, and just sit above them, I think. Uh, flip... There. Just go sit above them. We're gonna move down. Just move down here. Make sure you got... You guys drop down, good. Now move over here. Guys, thank you, move forward. Actually, you can move over here, flip. Just sit behind them and attack them. Right. We're just dropping bombs on, on these guys. What a nice start. Oh. Because then you can build your own ships, this is quite fun. Uh, no, no, uh, target ships, can't target that ship. Land of Nemo. The Radiant Fortress surrendered. The Great Fastness disarmed. The Exsanguinator has no crew quarters left. So, does that mean we get this building? It could have made that you get this building. Okay. Victory. Dentata versus Dexford. Pause. Uh, click pause. Having made and consolidated your first conquest, you are now ready to continue expanding. Capture city after city, fortify your conquest, and build your fleet. Soon you'll have the whole world under your banner. Cool. So, gentle takeover. A slow and gentle city transfer that leaves most of the city intact. A brutal takeover, rapidly brought under your control. And pillaging. The, the surrender, treasures of the cities are plundered, reducing a lot of the money in the short term. we will just keep a gentle takeover. Spy? Uh, the spy can probably leave, let's be honest. Um, okay, let's think about building some more ships. Um... How much from the torch? Torch is 1,104. We can build a uh, Mutilatrix, which has got what? These are Grenadiers. Grenadiers, quarters, quarters, repair bay, ammo store. Grenadiers basically just throw grenades out in front of them, so they do have an arcing fire. Deathly Wind has... Uh, what is your weapon, Deathly Wind? Cockpit, quarters, ammo store, steel cargo door, propeller, 
Coal store. You've just got a weapon, have you? A marine barrack. Oh, your your Deathly Wind is got a marine barracks, so they can they can board. Uh, the cranium has a ram. The bubo has a one grenade, a cockpit, and four riflemen. And the acrid stench has a ram and a couple of grenadiers. Okay. We could build one from scratch, shall we? Let's build a, let's design a script from. Uh, hang on, let's pause first of all. Let's see our research. Research. Um, we have military training, which we already have. Explosives. Which lets us have bombs. Rifling gives us rifles. Gunnery gives us the cannons. Machinery gives us propellers. And the energized suspendium gives us suspendium chambers. I'm going to go for. Um, aerial corpse gives us aerial hussars. I'm assuming that's better than the marines. Harpooners. Fire extinguishers. That would probably be useful in the long run. So we're going to put that in. We're currently spending subsidies. This is how much money we're putting into our research. Um, let's put some research programs in there. So that should go faster. And we will design a ship, first of all. Okay, so this is the Squamous. No, this is not the Squamous. This is the... Which design is this? This is going to be the... The Vintage class. Okay, right. So, firstly, modules. Basics have pretty much everything. The, the basic things you need for a ship is here. Then you can have more specific variants here. Like command and crew, berth, bridge, cockpit, crow's nest, quarters, stick break. Bridge you need for bigger ships. Cockpit will do for small ships. So let's start with a bridge. Let's start with our bridge, first of all. I want to build a... I want to build a ship with plenty of cannon. The ship is too heavy to fly. The ship has no propulsion, it has no crew. Okay, well, let's start off with... Let's close the basic off. Command and control. No, ships like propulsion. We have an engine pod, which is this streamlined external engine pod has better performance than a rear-mounted propeller, but is somewhat vulnerable. Uh, or we have a large propellers, which have steam-powered propellers with a vertical chimney, which is you can see here, for example, generates 270 propulsion, requires a coal every second. This can has more HP actually. Recommended crew three, recommended crew three. Okay, we'll put an engine pod at the back, but that's not what we need at the moment. You can put sails, resources, coal stores. So let's put a fire point, uh, put, a, put, a, put a coal store, and an ammo store. Put an ammo store up there. We need to basically connect everything, make sure everything connects. So we will do that in, uh, we'll put, uh, we need some supply. Still too heavy to fly, but that's not a problem. We'll go for, let's see. Put a steel supply hatch over here for the time being. Um, crew zero. Uh, where's crew? Crew, 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 crew. Commanding crew. Get some quarters. In the case, hang on, let's just remove this module there. Quarters. There. That links everything up together. Has no propulsion, needs more supply hatches, sure. Um, put a crow's nest at the top as well. Uh, we'll put a. Uh, where is it? Corridor with ladder there just to link those up and has no propulsion okay let's fly then what do we want troops weapons resources lift suspendium dust tanks if you so wished um suspendium chambers suspens suspendium small suspendium chamber that requires weight six lift 600 lift that requires 2000 lift so we'll put a suspendium chamber right there Needs more propulsion. We'll put a open we'll an engine part of the back then. We haven't got the tech for engine pod. All right, we, we can do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Okay, I, I see what it means. Right, right, right. It needs to be placed. It needs to be have clear all the way, like left and right. Interesting. Yeah, so it needs to be okay. That's it. I understand now. We'll put a we'll put a, put a propeller at the back though, so we can have what coal fifty, ammo one hundred, speed service ceiling. We need to have a higher service ceiling. Would be nice. <laughs> Get a second suspension. Oh, because that requires view. So we'll remove that for the time being, and that uh, small suspension chamber. Uh, put a put a large propeller on the back there. That money is huge. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, let's not do that then. Let's do something with it that, that fits within our remove module. Thank you. Something that fits within our budget then. Let's keep. Let's, let's stay within our budget. Um, needs more supply hatches. Sure, I'll put some supply hatches in. Oh, we haven't got. We have got an ammo store. 
let's close everything else. Let's do what we have. Basic structural, troops, weapons, we find basics. Ammo store, we've got one of those. Bridge, yep, we got one of those as well. Uh, coal fire point, yep, yep. Grenades, muskets, propellers, quarters, repair bay. Let us repair anything in the ship. Um, the rifle, we can have some rifles at the front. I'm actually going to put uh, some, uh, where are the cannons? Cannon? Cannon, cannon, cannon. I'm slightly above my... I'm slightly above my requirements here, so I'm actually going to put a grenadier there and put a corridor with a ladder. We'll get the berth, the crow's nest. Where's the crow's nest? Crow's nest. They put the crow's nest there. Crow's nest makes weapons more accurate. Improves the ship's aim. And what can we do? Shapes and decorations. We can put abstract figureheads, so forth. Um, brass tubes. Curve tubes, dragon figurehead, eagle figurehead, figurehead with a scepter. Uh, no, okay, we're okay with that, actually. Let's put that down. Um, anything that we need to get? Sick bay. We don't need a sick bay, really. Um, we have uh, twenty. We have recommended crew twenty. We have twelve. So let's get a, let's get another quarters in there. Plenty of extra crew. Service seating is, is low again. Uh, God, this, this is the problem with trying to get a good steel supply hatch, please. Actually, I might, might have to get rid of that. Um, steel supply hatch. Okay, technically that's, that's, that's a combat-capable ship. Technically. Uh, the vintage. Um, kind of maybe want to order these in a different way. I'll put the, um, I'll put the ammo store down here. I'll put the bridge above. There you go. It's just slightly more expensive than I got at the moment. Just a smidgen more expensive than I got at the moment. Service ceiling is 148 meters. Speed is 114 kilometers an hour. Crew 12, recommended crew 20. The coal requires one coal every 20 seconds. One coal every 20 seconds. One coal every 30 seconds. So this requires two coal a minute. That requires three coal a minute. So it's five coal a minute. This can run for five. This can run for a 10 minute battle. Um, ammos, these fire every three seconds. This fires every uh, two seconds. Ammo storage, a hundred. So that's fine. There's plenty of ammo. Water repair. Crew. To be fair, I could probably I could probably ditch the repair if I was really brutally honest. I could probably ditch the repair, but that's, that'll do. Eh, I think I have everything I want to have. We'll say that there. We'll save this design as the vintage. We will build. We can't build it because it's a bit too expensive at the moment. But we will wait a specific, just a little bit of time to pass. Okay, we can now build the vintage, which is now the HMS vintage apparently, because this actually doesn't actually factor into there. The HMS vintage. Build the HMS vintage. Thank you very much. Uh, can the spy leave this place? Send the spy 100. I haven't got the money to send the spy there. Um, what's in Nordon? Come on, time pass. Thank you. Send the spy there. Infiltrate the spy. Okay, we have now... There we go. The vintage is there. We are earning 109. So the spy is active here, right? The spy is active. What do they have here? Again, same again. I could probably do the same. They haven't got a fleet in Vaxen for it now. Interesting. Right, go and invade that while well, you've got a moment. No, Vaxenford doesn't have a fleet right now, so we're gonna we can probably just take over Vaxenford beautifully. You can go into reserve. I don't need cyanosis right now. But we can just start you, and then you, you're just gonna head and fly over here. I'll fly over there first to start with, then you can just drop down. See, all, the, all, the, all, the, all these rifles are just constantly firing. But there we go. We're right above now, just dropping the bombs. Drop down. That's gone. Oh my god, this is amazing just to sit down on something like this. That's beautiful. What a great design. Are we out of ammo? Alright, can we move a little bit forward? There we go. I think that's definitely a win for us. I'm gonna move it. There we go. Disarmed and destroyed. 
We've got now we have that. Let's move a uh, gentle takeover as per usual. Vaxenford sends spy to you. Let's find out what's happening over there. Um, how's the money incoming? So I wouldn't mind getting another. What, what design would I want to build? If I could build any design I've got that's currently built in. These are was a, this is a satellite that flies around with a, with sails, or suspending dust tanks, and just has a a ventral turret, a very strong ventral turret. Uh, Falcon has missile tubes. I can't has aerial torpedoes. I can't even build that yet. This one has is basically it's just a ship. <laughs> has a huge balloon at the bottom and sails. What's that? That is a flag, I guess. Um, the Belial. Oh, Belial, baby. That's, that's, that, is, that is expensive. But that's a lot of guns. Service seating is low and its speed is very low. Let's compare. Torture's got a service seating of 204 and a speed of 159. The... 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 Is it the, um, the has... A service seating of, so, okay. So, the, 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 the service seating of the, of the uh, Vantage isn't actually that bad. The Vintage, sorry. A Vampire is, again, pretty massive. It's actually that's huge, actually. The Vampire is dorsal turrets, flat cannons, heavy cannons, large suspension chambers, ventral turrets, reinforced wooden armor. It's huge. The Ravager. Okay, has a... Wow. The Imperator 5. The Vindicator. Because what, do have, what do you have the tech, the tech for? We can build an unmatched. We could build an unmatched. That is 1279. Eh, well, 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 unmatched is a good idea to build. A Tragedy. Cheaper. Steel armor is not available, though, so kind of wait to research steel armor. The Pyromaniac, the Mutilatrix. Uh, I think I'm liking the unmatched. I'm liking the unmatched. So we'll wait until we have 1279. Right, pause. Now you have a severe secret police, but 62 income. And what have you got here? Okay, so it's again, no big guns for you. Just these guys. These guys don't really, can't really hold their own, let's be honest. Um... Kinda wanna build a second torture. If I'm not entirely lying. Uh can you get the speed up a little bit? Give me a little bit more speed. Thank you. Oh, hang on, we just got attacked. Lands of Nemo Vaxenford. I wasn't paying attention. So what do we have here? Don't know what you are. I don't, don't know what weapons you've got. Generally don't know what weapon you've got. Um Well I've I've only got you to work with. Which is one of those things we have. Oh, because these ones Hang on, do I have any ships? Reserves? No. Okay, we'll start anyway. We'll start and see what happens. We'll just speed through it because there's nothing really we can do. No, they're dropping bombs. Okay, we've, we've lost. Okay, we've lost. Fair enough. We'll flee. Okay, they took Dentata, which is fair enough. We'll take over... We'll go invade Dentata right back at them. Because we can just attack them first. Um, you move up down to there. And we'll because they they have they've got yeah they've got nothing they've, all they've got is the air the air fleet yeah they even got they haven't even got front facing weapons we're just sitting here and just waiting for them to die essentially you, you, you can't actually get up there can you no you can't that's the like this one saving grace you can't actually get up there. Okay, their engines. Okay, their engines put out. Let's move further the back, further the back a little bit. But we're probably just there. We go. That'll be it. Okay, then just move and sit on top of it. Good. There we go. Killed the upright. Not happy with that. We'll tick that over. Gentle takeover. Thank you very much. Uh, we search fire extinguishers. Good. We search the fire extinguishers, so we can build our ships with fire extinguishers now. We fire rockets, telescopes, imperial cannon, medium steel armor, heavy wooden armor, saw blades and tracks, which lets you build land ships, uh, harpooners. I'm kind of interested. I'm kind of interested in what aerial hussars actually are. We'll start with that. The aerial hussars. Right, fine. Pause still. Pause, pause, pause. Let's not do the whole thing of letting speed go forever. Uh, we have one. Okay, we're going to build a. What was it? We we're going to build the HMS Unmatched. Build the HMS Unmatched. At the same time, we are going to... What are the cultists? Cultists. A new strange cultist started attracting followers. They are curiously well-armed for a religious community, and their rhetoric is openly hostile to your empire. Okay. Uh, Vaxenford is active, so we're going to send... We're just going to send, I think. We're going to send you guys. Invade Vaxenford. Boom. Right, so... Um, stay low. And just, just keep firing from here. Whereas, okay, so we're going to start... 
pause, immediate pause, you're gonna fly over to here. Okay, uh, you are actually focusing fire on the first target here, which is T that one. Thank you very much. Uh, you're, can I get you to hold fire? Uh, focus on shooting, focus on moving, focus on firefighting, normal fire, aimed fire, hold fire. Hold fire for the time being, just because I want you to get to a good position before you start dropping bombs. Alright, I'm going to position? Yeah, you are. Uh, normal fire, rapid fire. Drop them. Rapid fire, people. How much? It's loud. A bit loud. Mm. What we need to do is actually go ahead and make sure that we've got everything sort of rescued. And basically, we haven't built any defenses in the city we just take it, have we? No, we have not. Probably, you can keep moving and go over here. Victory. Have we won? Yeah, we've won. They've surrendered two places. Good. Now, we will just take over that and we'll pause. Because not on defenses. Little to none. Repair that, thank you very much. We should also build defensive structure 17. Or the Keep of Crows. Keep of Crows is actually pretty good, because it's got rifle, 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 and a couple of cannons. Sentinel is the worst version of what we've got, and uh, Lieutenant Watcher would be amazing, but uh, we'll put a Keep of Crows uh, open. We'll build a Keep of Crows right here, so it's going to be difficult to get them to bomb them. So we'll put that there and build. I'm going to... Once we've taken out the Tiss, I think, once we've taken out Tiss, which I'm assuming there's nothing left there, we're just going to fly you guys over immediately. Gentle takeover. Just fly over to Tiss immediately because there's no reason not to. Um, yeah, same thing. Uh, you're going to reserve and start and then move over. That was a fast house start. Go ahead and do that. Just go ahead and move over there. Speed over. Speed up, thank you. Just drop all the bombs in their faces. I think this thing has got steel armor as well, which is why it's so amazing. Surrendered. Yep, good. Uh, gentle takeover as well. The city's no defensive buildings. Yeah, we're working on that. We're literally building that right now. Uh, Lubbard, again, you've got those. So we're focusing on keeping on building keeps of crows wherever we can. Yeah, so keep of crows costs. Uh, build, building keep of crows. One. And then, can I build a second? I'll build a second one here. Leave. Uh, give me a, a, the aerial hussars. What are aerial hussars then? Triplanes. Let's go for rockets. Get some rockets in. Pause. One. Um, some defensive buildings. Yeah, we're working on that. Vaxenford. Hello, Vaxenford. Defenses. Repair that. Uh, what are you actually? What are you? You can get scrapped, to be honest, because I'm not even sure what you are. Uh, we're going to build a building. Build a keep of crows here, and it'll be. Uh, I'm going to put several keeps of crows simply because um, this has got a place with. It's got a. It's got a thing. All right, Tiss again. No defense. You've got very few defenses. Uh, repair you up. Then we'll build a keep of crows as well. Uh, here, I guess. Right, okay. So, that has been our first look into Vaxenford. Uh, See so if you can find out any good places. So, what, is, what, is, what does Dagger Guild look like? Let's see what Dagger Guild looks like before we finish off. Also, uh, Vintage Unmatched. I want to quickly, if a crew refit you, what did we just get? Then let's find out. Crew, air, aircraft, Hussar Bay. What is a Hussar Bay then? Hussars are what? A miniature airship powered by a single soldier. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Ooh, I've never seen that before. Um, can I just put you in the back there? I mean, is, that, is that possible to just keep put a single hussar at the back and see what happens? So uh, we will refit. Refit that, please. See what happens. Ooh, hang on. Who's that? That is Pirates vs. Lands of Nemo. Uh, okay. 
Attackers are looting the city by 50 occupied. If you withdraw your faces will be spared, but the city will be thoroughly looted. Start. They're just firing there, basically. They're all climbing the rigging. There's nothing much we can do other than shoot them. Actually, the, the rifles have crazy range. Probably could do with the Keeper Crows, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Speed over, come on. He has no reason to move. Okay, we got him. Oh, it went low, it went low. Yes, nice. Lightly looted, but it was not bad. Uh, I'm actually gonna... Pirates, ooh, the pirates over there. Group pirates have set up a base here. Naughty, naughty. Um, you guys have been built, right? So before the end of the episode, let's have a look and see what we've got over here. Let's send over the Vintage and the Unmatched. The Unmatched, which has now a Hussar, so I have no idea what that is going to do. But let's see what this is like. What have you guys got over here? How many of pirates? A couple of airships. Uh, you can go up here. You must be you as far as high as you can go. So you can go there. And this is... Again, I think I can... If I sit on top of you, I think we're okay. If I sit on top of you, I think we're going to be okay. That said, I haven't got my bombers, have I? Uh, we'll just reserve. Uh -huh. Okay, you are focus targeting that. You are focus targeting that one. Okay, this is the problem. Um, where's the Hussar gone? You're out, okay. The Hussar is flying away. Uh, move back. You're trying to ram us. Move back. It's falling. Okay. Pog is making it hard to go enemy to see. We should close in on them. Apparently we should. Okay. Uh, can you go sit on top of them here? Just go sit right there. So if you sit right there, the Grenadier can at least do something. Uh, you are focusing on this target now. Thank you very much. Uh, can you move? You can move. You move down to there. Oh, we just dropped it on top. Of, we just dropped it on top of your on top of your friend, didn't we? We just dropped you right on top of the friend building. Okay, you're getting moving closer as well. Oh, they've got they've got grenadiers. They've got grenadiers. Okay, move back, move back, move back. Oh, good. Okay, move back a little bit, move back a little bit. A little bit more, come on. Okay, um... Ground ship. Uh, can you ground ship? Ground the ship. It's a flat, it's a, it's a flat ground and you can just, you can just be a very... Yeah, you, you just grounded the ship. And we can transfer crew, we can board ship. Okay, um... Target this place. In the meantime, in the meantime, you can go over here, flip, no, no, cancel. You, just you, move over here. Oh, we lost the grenade, we lost, we lost, the, we lost the, the grenades, the grenadiers. Okay, we need to actually, okay, uh, move up. Can you flee? Be so okay, we'll, we'll move up, we'll move to here. Get some repairs done. Uh, but the pirates have... Because the, the bombing ship would do a fantastic job there. So, uh, can we build a torturer? Not yet. But a torturer would be very useful there. So let's quickly just send the torturer over. The cyanosis over there. You guys fly over backwards. Over here. There are no ships technically at the moment flying around. Okay. So if you go to... Here, uh, where do you... Empire details. So, our tax are... are Cities, our defense maintenance, our fleet maintenance, our research, our spy network, our secret police costs are currently lax. I'm going to keep it at that. Because again, building... Marshville conquers Vault Vale. Okay. We are going to build a... Another Torturer. This is now the HMS uh, Tremor. Because you're a very useful ship to take out. Uh, land ship. Land, like, um, ground bases. 
you do start with a, you start with a random ship every time I've started this, and this is a fantastic design to have started with. Especially because I don't think I actually have the. Uh... Okay, we move the reserve and start you, and you know, just you just do your things. Move over here. All you do is just go over there. You're in rapid fire already, so hurrah. Hold fire, aim fire. Just drop them. Okay, hang on. Um, aimed fire. Because you got because there's these are upward upward firing cannons, so it's important that uh, they just die. Drop them. That'll do. Beautiful, beautifully executed. Fantastic. Hold fire, guys. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. Aimed fire, yeah, keep the aim fire, move a little bit further forward. Beautiful. Pirate HQ destroyed. 4,000 monies to me, which means we're gonna build a lot of ships now. Medium shipyard, large shipyard. Okay, let's build, a, let's build some ships. Let's build some ships here. We're gonna build a... Deathly Wind 2, what's the Deathly Wind 2? You're, you're, you're the bomber, yeah, you're the, you're the, you're the bomber. You're the bomber. Bomber with marines? Quarters? Oh, this is the design I made. I made Deathly Wind too. The Marines is the game. Um, Pyromaniac, Tragedy, The Unmatched, The Vanguard, The Imperator. You have 4,000. All we're stopping us now is technology rather than money. Uh, if I can't build the ship, it's because of technology. So, another Unmatched would probably be interesting. We'll make it the HMS um, Unassailable. And also, we're going to build an HMS. Um, uh, we're gonna put the mutilatrix. Go for deathly wind. Get some board. Get some boarding done. Build the HMS uh, divider. Um, let me know what you think. Actually, like, like for, for quite a simple game, I've really enjoyed it. And I mean, there's quite a lot of place to go, and there's a lot of tech to go to. I mean, the, the, we have Harry uh, Hussars. Try planes further up ahead, so what has, if you go further up ahead? Buy planes and bombers. Uh, faster cannon reload time, safer cannons, elite infantry. Cybernetics, aerial torpedoes. Mech spiders. Um, heavy cannons, massive stone walls. Spider legs. Heavy turrets. Computers. Flat cannons, suspendium cannon. Suspendium cannon, interesting. You shoot something that goes up. Deck guns. Gatling guns. You can build, if you go to land ships, you can build, like, things that just sit on the ground. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys next time. See you then, folks. Bye.